party. Maybe we are getting too old for this sort of thing. What happened? Where are you? Right here, where are you? Right here. Right where? Here, I'm up to you. We're invisible. James? I think I got this thing working again. Let me have that thing, Artie. Sure. James! Now it's gonna be lost in the Potomac forever. Good. What? Why'd you do that? <laughs> Threw it in the river. It shouldn't be too hard to find. I think I'm going to faint. And I will kick you to death. Don't yank me so hard. You're hurting me. I'll yank your arm out by the hooks if you don't keep up with me from now on. James, don't you think that falls under the heading of cruel and inhuman punishment? Being invisible and handcuffed to Albert Paradigm for the rest of your life? I think they deserve each other. You may be right. I've never been so cold in my life. Can't we rest a minute? I'll never rest until we find that gizmo of yours. Here we go again. Now, please, H.L., I can't hold my breath as long as you've got. Then you better learn to live without air. This is Robert T. Skinny Malone IV, present-day custodian of the files of the Secret Service. When one delves into the ancient files, one is struck by the improbability of these cases of James West and Artemis Gordon. The idea that a man could become invisible is obviously absurd. My apologies and good night. Thank <laughs> you. 